We speak. We link signs and sounds to thoughts and things in countless ways, creating almost infinite meanings. That takes a lot of brain power. Moving to Hong Kong has been amazing. I'm originally from Japan, but I've lived in Hong Kong for six years now. But it has its challenges. Even just buying dinner can get complicated. A lot of us foreigners try to learn Chinese, but it's not always easy. One word can actually have many meanings, depending on the tone you use. For example, if I say "siu," it means burn, or "siu," it means little, or "siu." It means laugh. Use the wrong tone, you could be in big trouble. It's only us human beings that have developed complex language. Unlike many other languages, Chinese uses the musical areas of the brain to extract meaning from all those tones, and that takes a lot of processing power. But the really big question is why we have any language at all. It's partly due to the size of our big brains, but there could be another factor at play. One theory is that it was something really tiny. There is a version of a gene. Called FOXP2, that only us humans have. Take it away, and you'll struggle to talk. No one knows how we've got this mutation. But we do know. It gave us more precise control over our mouth and our tongue muscles. And that let us make more sophisticated sounds, helping us turn thoughts into words. Small genetic twists turned us from a bunch of folks who grunt to a species that can tell "siu" from "siu" from "siu." Sharing ideas, communicating them, lets us do things that alone would be impossible. Something pioneers know full well. 